Hello boaters. Now this is a story that happened quite a long time ago, so don't worry, nothing seriously bad happened and everything was all right in the end. Um, it was about a time when I nearly had my boat broken into, very close. So I was working full time at my day job and it would have been around about autumn time and I came home from work one day <coughs> and uh, I got back to the boat, everything was fine, but for dinner that night I just had a craving for um, fish and chips, which is unusual for me, but a, a craving I had, and I decided that, yeah, I'm going to have fish and chips, but the nearest chip shop from where I was, currently moored at Pigeon's Lock, um, Kirtlington, the nearest chip shop would have been either in Woodstock or Kittlington, so three or four miles each way, so in the end I decided to go to Woodstock, so I left. It was still light, I remember that, when I, I cycled into Woodstock, it was still light, got the fish and chips, did a quick bit of shopping in the co-op as well, and then cycled home. And I cycled back a slightly different way, um, which meant cycling quite a long way along the towpath. And uh, the way back was dark, um, so I had my bike lights on, and I cycled back along the towpath towards my boat, um, and I noticed my bike lights picked him out in the distance. There was a, a fairly, fairly elderly man standing on the towpath at the front end of my boat. And I was approaching towards the back end of my boat, still, still a way off, but I could see him there. I um, didn't think anything of it really. Um, anyway, I pulled up at my boat and I, I sort of, uh, as I approached the boat, he sort of stepped up onto the bank, off the, off the path, up onto the bank a little bit, and I assumed he was just going to let me pass. Um, but of course I was stopping there, so I stopped at the back end of my boat, got off, I think I even said good evening to him, um, and he walked away. Didn't think anything of it really. Um, so I locked my bite up, go into the boat, everything's fine and normal, have my fish and chips, that's all fine, and I'm sitting there watching TV. Uh, probably about half an hour or more later, and the TV picture just sort of drifted off and wouldn't get the channel anymore. I thought, that's a bit weird. So I go outside to have a look, and I find, well, the aerial had moved because the front of my boat had come adrift and the boat had floated across the canal at the front end, which, of course, had caused the TV aerial to lose the uh, transmitter. So I thought, blimey, that's a bit odd. There hasn't been any moving boats. So I, I get my shoes on, go outside and go to re-moor up. I managed to hook the rope with the boat pole and pull it back in. Uh, but the mooring spike was gone, which was a bit unusual because I always make a point of tying on the mooring spike, you know, really firmly because the, the, they do pull out on occasion. And, you know, if you haven't tied it on properly, you'll lose your spike. Um, but this time now, there's no spike there at all. And then it dawned on me, that chap had pulled out the mooring spike and he was going to use it to use like a crowbar to either force open the door or maybe to smash a window. And if I'd have been, probably even 30 seconds later, he'd have been busy doing that or even inside the boat. So that was a very, very close call. Um, I don't know who he was. I think it's possibly... Uh, possibly a homeless person. Just another 30 seconds or a minute later back and it could have been an entirely different situation. I don't know what I'd have done to be honest. Obviously I would have confronted him. I had no phone because this was this was probably around about 1997 that it happened and uh, of course I didn't have a mobile phone then. The nearest payphone was a long way away. Uh, I would have confronted him I guess. <laughs> Who knows what would have happened then. But <laughs> Anyway, these things, you know, you know, this is a really quiet rural place as well, so the, these things can happen at any time. Um, I've been lucky over the years, really, nothing serious. All, in that time, all I lost was a mooring spike. I never did find it. Don't know what happened to the thing, really. Um, he probably chucked it in the hedge, or, or maybe he used it on another boat somewhere else. Uh, who knows? But I really couldn't believe my naivety. I even said good evening to the chap as I pulled up on my bike. <laughs> That's how uh, unsuspecting I am, and uh, maybe not so much these days. I think I was a lot younger back then. Um, 
But anyway, well, that's a story. There have been a few other incidents as well, but nothing serious. But, you know, the, the, these things do happen now and again, maybe maybe once every five years or something, you know, like ropes will get untied or something like that. Um, but not mooring in urban areas certainly reduces the chances of that. Anyway, until next time, I'll come up with plenty more stories for you, I'm sure. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.